We're backstage in Boston. Um, first off, Jane, I've got to imagine this has been a busy night for you. There's tons of people here wanting to see you because this is your hometown. There's lots of fighters wanting to talk to you about certain matchups. How really do you kind of handle it all when you come back here? Uh, no, it's easy. I, I, I'm back here for a long time, but you know, I don't get out of here. Probably one of the last guys to leave every time, but um, I love it. When, when, you, when you come into Boston and put on a sold-out event like this tonight, yeah, listen, I'll stay here and talk to everybody. I love it. You had two champions keep their belts tonight. Very interesting fights, very different fights between the co-main event and the main event. Let's start with the main event, Stipe versus Francis. A lot of situations and scenarios were imagined, never really a five-round decision. Um, no, no, I don't think anybody did. The odds were huge that that, that wouldn't happen. But uh, you know, you never know in the sport. It's anything is possible, even a five-round uh, fight between two massive knockout artists. Yeah, Stipe uh, now has the most title defenses in UFC heavyweight history. Does this make him one of the best ever, if not the best heavyweight ever? Yeah, I mean, when you have when you have that stat, you've defended the title more than anybody else. It's tough to not call you the best. Yeah. What did you think of Francis's performance tonight? Obviously, this was his first time going five rounds, but I think some people were surprised by maybe his lack of cardio or what we thought was lack of cardio, whatever it may have been in the octagon. Yeah, he left the Performance Institute two weeks early and went to France. You know, I don't know what he did over there. I'm sure he was training, but you know that that's a tr that's a tough flight to go back and forth two weeks before your fight, and um, yeah, yeah, did you know this is his first big show? Uh, you know, Stipe's been here before. Stipe is athletic, well-rounded, um, you know, and, and, and I thought he would try to take him down early, rough him up, and get him into the, the deep water where, where Francis has never been. Yeah. What about the co-main event with Daniel Cormier tonight? He put on a beautiful, dominant performance against Vulcan. Um, also, Vulcan was very new to the sport. He wasn't even in the UFC this time last year. But, you know, he was a worthy contender leading into this. What did you think from that fight? Yeah, no, Cormier always looks awesome. He's always in shape. He's always ready to go. Uh, he, you know, he pushed the pace early, got in Vulcan's face, you know, and, and literally just stole the fight from him and in and, and, and impressive fashion. He looked incredible, man. It's, it's funny, this guy gets better every time he fights. And you just told me something interesting just a moment ago in a different interview where you said you had a conversation with Daniel about maybe changing some weight classes here. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he doesn't like to jump up to heavyweight because because of his relationship with Kane Velasquez, but he could go in and fight, and if Kane comes back, he could walk away from the belt if that's what he chose to do or whatever, but I, I think that Stipe and, uh, and and Daniel's a fun fight. Yeah, lots of interesting things going on here in the UFC organization. We appreciate your time, boss. Thanks so Thank much. You,